Here's what I'd say to anybody who gets a vehicle inspection and the dealer, whoever that dealer may be, says something is wrong with their tires. If that person purchased those tires, let's say it's Michelin and those tires aren't very old and you're suspicious about hey, this seems like it's extraordinary wear and the dealer or whomever the auto shop is is asking me for money and there's a prorated question about those tires, call customer service of the tire manufacturer. I'm not saying that all dealers are dishonest. What I'm saying is that there's some type of umbrella game being played between the manufacturers of tires and all the various dealerships that one name possibly owns. And that the truth is somehow lost in between. And to protect yourself, follow up with customer service at the tire manufacturer, keep all your receipts. And if you are financing tires through a credit card, That is your best recourse of action. Immediately call your credit card and say, these tires were deemed no good before the warranty or I'm being asked for money on a pro rate that I don't think is fair and dispute the credit card charge. Because I think the problem here is that the tire manufacturers are getting blamed, but There's some questions with regard of the dealerships and they're not being above board either because some of them are not even registered representatives of those particular manufacturers. In other words, just because a dealership sells Michelins doesn't mean they're an authorized Michelin dealer. They may be an authorized Goodyear dealer but not authorized for Michelin. So that means that all they can do really is ask you for money on a Michelin warranty. They can't legitimately open a case and then say and deem these tires as no good with Michelin. Customer of the dealership getting my Toyota vehicle serviced there as long as I've had Toyotas and lived in this area, which is probably a little over 20 years, uh, with three specific service advisors, um, as long as they've worked for shit and, and regularly had the vehicle serviced, whatever they've advised, I've done to my vehicles and I've always trusted their judgment Albeit, you know, most people say you pay more at the dealer. I I didn't really mind if it's more for an oil change or whatever. I I feel like I got good advice uh, based on the vehicle vehicles I had, and therefore I continued to go. I knew the general managers. I knew the uh, I knew the service managers, and so on and so forth. Um, really never had a problem except one time where another one of their dealerships repaired a vehicle after it was in a big accident. But that was never anything to do with service. I bought uh, with the current vehicle that I have, which has about 175,000 miles. It had a new set of tires when I purchased it at about two years of age. I went through that set of tires, which I really thought was subpar. They lasted about 40,000 miles. The vehicle's garage capped. I do a lot of highway miles. And then I purchased another set of tires from the dealership. And those also lasted about 40,000 miles with the same vehicle. They were regularly rotated, et cetera, and so on. And um, during my regular servicing, And really liked those tires until they were worn. And that was about a year ago. And then I bought another set of tires. And at the time I purchased those tires, I was planning a big, long driving trip. And the only tires that were available were a very high-end set of Michelin's. 
And so I agreed to buy those because there wasn't really any other option at that time. And I felt like the tires were, you know, I saw that they really needed replacing and they really couldn't wait given a 3000 mile road trip. So I replaced them and um, I long-term financed them for a year. And about 11 months into the ownership of those Michelin tires, I went to the dealership for regular servicing. And I don't know if this is important to the story, but my regular service person had died. And I always felt like they were very honest and and frank with me. And I said, who, who else should I go to? Um, I was referred to some representative, um, came out of the oil change, and was told that my tires needed replacing. Two of the four tires needed replacing. And I was dumbfounded. They're, you know, top end Michelins, and they were rotated once at least during the, the course of the year probably twice, um, one of the records was lost or missing in action. I don't really know what happened there. Um, again, that rotation happened before a long road trip. I remember it very well because when I went in for the tire rotation, they forgot to change the oil. So I picked up the vehicle and saw that the lights hadn't been reset when it says your vehicle needs servicing on the dash. And so I asked, hey, did you even change the oil? Uh, uh, and they took the car back. Fairly sure if I remember correctly, they even gave me a rental and took the car overnight, came back, oil was changed. I went on my long road trip. You know, nothing was said to me about the tires in December. So I was really surprised to hear that a year old set of Michelins were no good. So I was told at that time that somebody from Ed Morris's, actually I was told their tire guy, that's exactly what was said to me, would be calling me within the next couple of days. And I said, tire guy, just who, who is this? Is this somebody who works for your dealership? Does this person have a name? And they said, don't worry, he'll call you. So after a few days when nobody called, I, I texted the um, the service advisor. And I said, where's this tire guy? And she said, don't worry, we'll have him call you. And so I finally heard from him after a week. And he said, we've talked to Michelin. Uh, the best thing we can do is get you a pro rate deal of something like, I, I don't know, I don't even remember because I knew that I wasn't going to pay a penny, but I was shocked at the price. It was something close to $200 a tire. And I flat out refused. And I said, these tires are under a year old. If they are completely bald, two are completely bald, then there's something wrong with the tires. And I'm not willing to pay a penny. And so I asked, um, I asked for the service manager of the dealership's name and number. And I called him and I spoke with him. He told me, Hey, this is the best prorated deal I've ever seen. Our tire guy managed to get from Michelin. Uh, uh, this is great. And I said, it's not great for me if I have to pay anything. I'm still, I have one more payment due on these tires. This is not okay. And it's not okay that these tires didn't even last 20,000 miles. And my other uh, tires that are supposedly of less quality lasted twice as long with the same servicing on the same vehicle, the vehicle's garage kept every day. So I just didn't understand it. So it didn't seem like I was getting any help from him. So then I called Michelin and I thought at that point that the problem was Michelin. When I called Michelin, all they were willing to do was pretty much nothing until I had the case number. So then I called back the dealership. I left a message for the tire guy and for the, the service manager of the Toyota dealership. And I asked for the case number. I was never called back. I sent them an email. 
I sent an email through their website. I sent an email through Facebook. And I said, please have somebody call me. I need a Michelin case number. Nobody ever contacted me back. So meanwhile, I'm getting frustrated. And so I look online and I found another customer service number for Michelin. I also, in the meantime, did the only thing that I thought possibly would help, which is I called, as I said, I had one more payment. The tires were only 11 months of age. So I called the credit card company that I had put the tires on. And I said, hey, listen, I've got one more payment on these tires. Why? I I, I don't want to pay it. And, and I'd like to dispute the charge because something's wrong with these tires. And they were willing to back me on it. So I felt pretty grateful about that. And then, uh, like I said, I found another Michelin customer service number. Meanwhile, because of the dispute to open with the credit card, suddenly I get a call from Michelin. And they also was right in the middle of work. I couldn't talk. I asked them for a name and number to call them back. They would not give me a name and number to call them back. They just said, oh, we'll call you back. So I, as I said, I went online. I looked through trying to find some different numbers, maybe of Michelin that I hadn't already called. And I did find another customer service number. I called that. And the very first thing out of the customer service reps, not mouth was, let me see if they are an authorized Michelin dealer. And they said, we see Ed Morris Cadillac is an authorized Michelin dealer. We see, uh, we do not see Ed Morris Del Rey Toyota. And I said exactly this. I asked, well, if there's two dealerships and they are literally five doors down from each other, are they umbrellaed under that same approval of being an authorized dealer. And she said, absolutely not. So then I thought, well, who is this tire guy? Why are they making any judgment? And as I said, I've had issues with Ed Morris Toyota, but I should say Ed Morris Cadillac repairing my Toyota. And it didn't seem above board. I let it go. But this I mean, these are 11 month of age tires. They were said that they were no good. And besides that, they didn't even look it. And so what happened at that point was I was given a new case number. I was given an authorized Michelin dealer, a Michelin tire dealer to go and have the tires reinspected. I went there, to the new, or the place that Michelin sent me to. I waited for, a while. And um, the first thing they said to me was, well, who told you these tires were no good? And meanwhile, the other two tires were rated a nine, I guess, out of 10, right? And these tires were rated a one out of 10. So quite a large disparity. I mean, we're not talking about a one versus a three, a one versus even a four or five. We're talking a one versus a nine. Okay. So the inspector said, these are at the worst, the seven. And that floored me. There's anything that they could do except admit fault and not do it to anybody else or get themselves authorized as a Michelin dealer. Right. Call me back and say, OK, we are now authorized as a Michelin dealer and we won't do this, play this game between our dealerships with Toyota customers anymore. And that was really my issue is that I feel like this is a 10 billion dollar a year company and they're playing a little game with being authorized and they didn't have any right nor. I mean, and, and so to answer, let me just answer your question a little bit more directly there. Um, until I wrote a letter and CC'd it to everybody, I found their email, the CFO, the CCO, Michelin, um, everybody, their customer service reps, 
Uh, and I went on Yelp and everybody that they were referred to, the GM, the customer service, uh, everybody, uh, just every, every, um, everybody in management at Edmore's period. And I, I addressed those issues. And moreover, what really bothered me was that it, you know, in a case of 11 month of age tires, nobody went and looked. Nobody even said, gee, that seems kind of weird. That, I, that two out of those four tires would be bald. Maybe we should just go take a look. Maybe there was a mistake here. Nobody ever did that before they asked me for money. And that was the thing that pissed me off the most. And uh, I was just floored by that. So when I was called finally by Ed Morris Tower, Delray Toyota's customer service rep, what I expected to happen is exactly the first words out of their mouth. Oh, well, maybe the service tech made a mistake. And I said, a mistake would be a little mistake. Uh, you know, a seven versus a five. You, not a one replace the tires versus a seven. You know, this is a huge disparity. It is big. And, and replacement versus non, which means give us your money versus not, right? And, and then, you know, I get this, you know, that's, I was going to say something, but it's neither here nor there. So I look at it as, well, yeah, they're, of course, they're a money-making business. But the reality is, is wouldn't this raise any red flags to anybody? And if they're not an authorized Michelin dealer, and if nobody is authorized to inspect the tires, except some guy sitting behind a desk in Miami, then why are they even asking me for money? It's wrong. And that is exactly what they said to me. Oh, well, maybe the tech just made a mistake. And so I answered it exactly as I'm answering the question with you. I said, this is not a little mistake. It's a big mistake. It's and nobody said, hey, you know, this seems like a big mistake, Mrs. Chase. Maybe you ought to bring back the vehicle and we'll take another look at it. Even that would have been better than just some guy saying, hey, we got you the best pro rate deal ever. Yeah, give us 200 bucks a tire. Instead of some red flags being raised that, gee, the other tires are a nine, these are one you know, to immediately ask a customer for money and put them through the ringer with inspections, this is wrong. And then I thought, why well, to? Because here I've been a 20 year duration customer trusting them and they couldn't even give my vehicle a second look. You know, so I, I asked, well, why didn't the service technician do what the three other service technicians that I had with your company, why didn't she do what they would have done? Hey, this seems kind of weird. Uh, let me go take a look at your car. That's exactly what I said to her. And even given COVID and everything, they had my car. I left it there. I was at home. She texted me that my tires were no good. I'm like, really? Really? Nobody ever went and looked. She just said, somebody will, somebody will call you later in the week. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't threaten anyone's health to go look at my tires. You know, not putting anybody in danger with COVID. That was irrelevant. And so that was how I answered that question. I said, you know, it really bothers me that I, number one, couldn't get a case number. I still, to this day, do not know if a case was ever really opened with Michelin because I never got the original supposed case number. All I had access to was the new case. And between you and I, my dad was in the car business for years. I get the whole dealership thing. And that's why I say, I didn't mind paying a little extra. Take good care of me. I'll pay you extra. I, I even... This I know this is irrelevant and not part of this. I even gave the new service technician a gift card. My next service technician for the next to however long with my vehicle, I gave her a gift card and a thank you note when I picked up my vehicle. 
And I want, I mean, that's how I do business. 